don't worry about the Knicks, because it's your boy, Chris, with the Knicks. Alright, so today I just want to talk about the whole Amy Joyner situation, and um, the whole outcome, my take, my thoughts on it. Um, okay, so for, so for those who don't know who Amy Joyner is, she's a 16-year-old girl who was in the bathroom that got jumped and her head uh, banged on the back of the uh, back of the sink and she got knocked out into a coma and then she died later um and it's been all over social media for the last um, couple of days so you know my take on it it really like just sickened me because first of all you know Amy Jordan she was a very good student. She was a straight A student, you know, she was just going about her life, doing her thing. So what had happened was this um she started dating this guy and her ex boy and his her ex girl his ex girlfriend did not like that. And they tried to say the girls tried to say, Oh, you know, they wasn't fighting over no boy, I'm gonna call B S because you know, some girls they feel like, oh, you know, I don't want to date you, but I don't want you dating nobody else while we're out of a relationship. I don't know, some girls just have a mentality, and then if they see you dating somebody else, they'll go fight the girl. And meanwhile, this is in high school. Like, y'all need to be t trying to get y'all education together instead of chasing around some r for some desert-thirsty nigga that's going to sit up there and date every other girl in, in the hood and, you know, get, him, get her pregnant. And not take care of the kid and gonna try to have some rap career that ain't gonna happen. You know, I don't try to put people's dreams down, but that's how some guys are, you know. And for her to lose her life over something stupid like that, you know, it's just stupid. You know, my thing, you know, I, I, and there's a lot of Amy joiners, and you know, because Amy, she tried to like talk it out, she tried to talk it out with this girl. You know, she was just, you know, I, I don't want to fight. You know, this is not my thing. You know, let's see what we can do about this. Meanwhile, this girl's still getting pumped up, you know, trying to t fight. No, 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 she want to fight. So finally, I guess Amy had enough of it. And the girl, she went and told her friends, if I lose the fight, then y'all are to jump in. And so Amy still tried to talk it out. The girl didn't want to, so they went in the bathroom. Amy got the best of her. She started beating that ass like she. Her name was uh, Layla Ali, and then the girl, you know, her friends. Behold, enough, they jumped him, jumped Amy. Somehow, Amy, you know, had her face, her her head back to the sink, and you know, <clears throat> hit her head back on the sink, and then they were still hitting her before they realized they had knocked her out, that she had got knocked out. So then. Amy ends up, you know, passing away in the hospital. You know, they still, these ratchets still post the um, video online. They they post it online on their Instagram social media, you know, going off. Somebody in the comment section, yeah, I'm glad she did. You know, just going in, you know, because even if you're a good person, you know, in the world, because you know, I consider myself a good person, you just got some people that's just damn evil in the world. So you always got to make sure and be careful, you know, who you associate with, who you um, choose to uh, be around. So then, you know, so then all the aftermath of that. Now, you know, Amy had, you know, passed away. They did visuals of her. And when I say karma's a bitch, even though I don't advocate violence, karma's a bitch. Amy's sister went and beat the beat the living shit out of one of the girls who had jumped Amy they was just beating her they was beating her and all you seen was her red two ninety nine a pack can of Kalan, black and gold uh, number red braids on the floor on, on the ground rather because they was fighting outside then another girl somebody they uh, the whole school like in the auditorium they went and jumped on <laughs> And they went and jumped on another girl who um, 
had uh, had jumped Amy, and it, this was both male and female, female and male was beating on her. They almost snatched her red lace, um, her blonde lace front off. And like I said, I don't advocate violence, but hey, you know, karma got them as fast as they could. And so now I think they're trying to try the girls as um, adults or they trying to get them probation but the family wants them to try them as an adult because this is a murder and they had no remorse for it you know my advice first of all if you a person and you got a friend or a family member that always got a lot of mouth and when it comes time to fighting they always expect you to um, jump in my advice for that is that if I don't care if you family or a good friend, if you got some, <clears throat> some doing busy, if you, let me get myself together. If you are doing something that you ain't got no business doing <clears throat> and you just sit up there fucking with people for no reason and you get your ass beat, <clears throat> that's on you. You're just gonna have to take that L, that lame, that loser, that loss, because I'm not jumping in for nothing stupid. <clears throat> I'm not fighting nobody with fun stuff for no reason. Like, that's on you. Now, if I see the fight, you know, I'm not going to let them kill you or, you know, <clears throat> do anything that's real bad. But you're going to have to take that loss. That's just that's just how it's going to go. You know, and like I was saying, <clears throat> you're just going to have to take that L. Because when I was in high school, and I really hated high school because a lot of people were just sitting there fighting over no reason, over just the stupidest things ever. When I was somebody, the stupidest thing I ever heard somebody fighting when I was in high school was over a damn air conditioner. Yes, the air conditioner. One of the, the things that keep you cool or hot, or whatever it does, an air conditioner. Like two girls has gotten, because one wanted it hot, one wanted it off. <clears throat> and one thing led and another, <clears throat> another thing led to another. And then they start fighting in the hallway over air conditioner. And for y'all to try to blame these housewife shows, no, this has have something to do with parenting because this has been happening in the '60s, the '70s. My parents was going to school, my sister was going to school, or you know, and when they know when I'm going to school, you know, yes, I do feel like the housewife shows have like some type of a little bit of influence. I just feel that, no, if this is just the parents because, you know, a lot of kids, especially in the hood, see their parents, you know, fighting, acting savage. And, you know, I just feel like, you know, it needs to stop. You, you have so much to live for. Now this girl is, you know, not going to be able to live, outlive her, um, her life, you know, not be able to, you know, have kids, do all these other things that she could have done in life. All because some hood rats decided to take it upon themselves and, you know, beat her up over some boy. You know, like, when is the madness going to stop? And then for that girl to be like, oh, well, I'm glad she did. Do you realize, like, that is life gone? Like, it's not going to come back. You know, I do believe in reincarnation. However, you know, that shouldn't even happen. You know, this whole fighting over whatever over blue fuck or whatever that that shouldn't happen you know and my thing is that like I said karma is gonna get you and you know first of all you know that towel that cause that marble is hard because I remember when I was in middle school and this guy named Calvin you know I mean he wasn't like a, a super good student but we had a school bully named Lee and then they was in we was in um classroom and the intercom came on and Lee told Calvin you know to shut the fuck up before he beat the shit out of him so Calvin jumped up like what so then Lee pushed him two times and then Calvin just blacked out and started you know beating his ass last move Calvin did he picked up Lee and picked up the back of his head and slammed it face down on some um mar that chair that has like the marble but the chair was loose it was in the back because it was loose, so the 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 chair, if um, the seat part lifted up. Next minute, you know, Lee Lee picks up his head and his teeth is kicked out, and it's a bunch of blood. His teeth is kicked out. 
they had to um, like push his teeth back in and put like some glue in the middle to get it back together. So like I said, the, f the human body is fragile. You know, you could make a, the slightest wrong move and you could be paralyzed You could, or you could die. Blood caught or you could die. So this is why, you know, parents need to teach their kids, you know, right from wrong. Because this fighting over the stupid stuff is getting really tiring. And there's a lot of Amy Joiners, like I said, you know, because, you know, I had two incidents, you know, and I guess because I'm in college, but I had two incidents where I could have mopped the floor with some people who did not deserve my time, who kept messing with me, you know, or saying little stuff. But I just took the high road because, you know, I'm not about to, because first of all, if I know if you mess with me or you mess with somebody that, that's a good person, then you, <clears throat> that means, that means, that lets me know that you're scary. It's how you gonna mess with somebody that's, you know, it's like Steve Urkel getting bullied by Muhammad Ali. Like, you try to fight somebody that's in your own class. You know, you get what I'm saying? And for, you know, all you high school students or all you college students or people in life in general, you know, if you're going to fight over something, make sure it's something worth fighting over. Just like you girls are sitting there fighting over a dude. It's one thing if the dude, if you guys are in a committed relationship, and he's actually faithful, and the guy... And if some other girl is trying to push up on your man, and he's like, you know, no, I got a girl, and whatever. Now, if you fight the girl over that, I can understand that. But if he's sitting up here spreading his seed to everybody, and you sitting up here trying to hold it down, trying to cook and clean, and, um, you know, let him have sex with you any kind of way he wants to, you don't need to be fighting over that, because you just become his personal whore. And I know a lot of personal whores, you know, if a dude respects you and if he loves you, he's going to be there. You know, if he doesn't want to be there, you can't make that man stay no matter how hard you try. That's just some honest truth. That's just some real ish, you know. And so, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, if you got a friend, first of all, if you got a friend that got a lot of mouth, because I know a lot of little scary girls in the hood who talk all these mess with them. They only act bad because of the people that they're around. If you got a friend like that, like I said, you're going to have to let them take that L, take that loss. Because you can't be beefing up a fight, you know, trying to fight somebody, beefing yourself up. And then when you get your ass whooped, you want to uh, have other people jump in for you. No, you're just going to have to take that because that's on you. You know, you should just let that girl alone. Now, if you get tried as an adult, if they get tried as an adult, that's good for them, you know. This is why I hated high school because it's just so much drama, people fighting. And then you know you, you realize over years it's like what do you what the hell was you fighting over? You know something that was just minuscule and you know it's real it's real tiring you know. So sorry. So yeah you know that's just my advice my heart my condolence goes out to you know Amy Jordan's family you know because. A straight A student, you know, and she seemed like to be a nice person. A lot of people said she was a nice person. I do believe that. This is why I want to jump on the topic of it. Not only that, you know, just so many, you know, this is why I did a video of can you be successful in the hood? And my answer is like, no, I, or, you know, or you just have to be careful. Because people like Amy Jordan or people like Merlin Santana, you know, the guy from the Steve Harvey show, and in earlier episodes, he played Ohaji, uh, Moesha's boyfriend from the hit TV sitcom Moesha. You know, he got shot in the back of the head, and some girl lied on him, and he ends up getting shot in the back of the head. <clears throat> you know, people like that, you know, even people like me, you know, you just have to, um, and if you're a person like that, you know, kind hearted, you just have to be careful of the people you hang around with and you know get some true friends you know to hold you down and then once you get enough money and once you get enough um once you get enough status just to get out the hood you you should just get out the hood <clears throat> you know so my thing is like if you're a good student or if you're not about like the street life 
because you just have some, you know, some hood rats or some niggas that just want to mess with you. And um, if you're a good student or if you're a good person that's living in the hood, you know, I would just suggest you take like, um, take some, uh, how do you call it? Take some martial arts or take some um, Taekwondo or something. You know, just try to keep yourself safe because not everybody's going to think like you, you know. You just got some people who just don't like positivity, you know. You have a lot of people on here, you know, either on YouTube or in real life just try to speak the truth, especially on people in the hood, and they just want to they just want to silence you. You know, a lot of people just, they can't handle the truth. You know, they'd rather stay, stay in a condemned house after it's been told that it might collapse rather than just go into a better place a better a temporary house until that place gets fixed up and you know they just rather be in a condemned house um doesn't make any sense no but you just have some people just damn stupid out here you know you just have to you know be careful keep yourself safe if you're in high school or if you're in um college life in general you know it just really sickens me that you know her life is gone because of this you know, bad things always happen to good people. And if you're the type of person to be like, oh, well, no one's perfect. D duh. No one. I, kn I know that. But that lets me know that you're one of those people that um, Amy Jordan got jumped by. Because there's, of course, no one's perfect, but there's a lot of people out here who just wants to do good rather than a lot of bad. A lot of bad. <clears throat> just like how they killed... Um, how they killed Tukey, you know, uh, Stanley Tukey, the one that started the Bloods, you know, when he started off, he went, uh, first of all, the blood. this is a video for another topic for another time, but briefly, he just started the Bloods, and it was to protect the neighborhood, but he started blood gang, and you know, you know how g gang life is, but when he got older, you know, he saw how it turned out, and he wanted just to end it, he was gonna change it, and I'm pretty sure he was still alive he could have been a, made a big impact and influence to, to stop you know what he had started because when he went in jail he was skinny as me when he was <clears throat> in there he became buff now answer me this you know they put him on death row and they rejected his appeal so he got executed anyways tell me this why is Charles Manson still alive why is he still breathing that man he wants to um he 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 will still kill somebody. He ain't changed. He in old age, like the Night Stalker. He beat jail. Now he he was Latino. He wasn't white. However, still he was married to a white woman, and he, you know he beat death row. And he said if he got out of um, jail, that he would do his crimes all over again. He didn't care. And one of the hillside stranglers is still alive. The other one died from uh, pancreatic cancer, or something like that. Uh, but the other one is still alive. He's still in jail. And that murder happened over years ago. I'm pretty sure he's on death row. The only reason why Jeffrey Dahmer got killed because his um, jail, his job, his death was an inside job. So, my th and he probably would have still been alive had he not got killed in jail. So it's like, that's what I'm saying. Like, this world is not really made out for good people. Not saying that you should not be discouraged by that, because <clears throat> sometimes you have to set your niceness aside just to show people how they got you fucked up. So that's why my thing is just like just try to keep yourself safe. If you're a good person, you know, not a lot of people are just gonna think like you. You, know, you just gotta um, still you can still be good, but just you know, heck, like Amy Joyner had uh, set her niceness aside. It's like I have to set my niceness aside, or Merlin Santana, or just a lot of other good people you know you just have to keep yourself safe you know so that's my advice my take on it it's just really sad that she had to go through that you know take care of your family but you know just get off the hood because there's just so many it's just, to be honest there's just so many people who's just damn evil you know oh I'm glad she did like what did she do to you that was so bad that you have to be glad that she was dead now I could see if she was a pedophile, or I could see if she was a murderer, or you know she was out here killing families or something. But she was just a good student, so 
What made you so had so much hate in your heart that you had to be glad that she was dead? Y'all don't realize in this generation that you know you don't some things you just don't get back, and your life is one of them if you keep playing stupid. Just like with all these little challenges, knockout challenges, or whatever, you just don't get that back. Like I don't understand. You know, so you know this generation is just so crazy. You know. Yeah, so any questions, comments, concerns, you can leave them down in the sec uh, comment section below. Until um, then, this has been your boy, Chris with the next. Peace.